Yo, what's going on people? It's Curtis back with another investment video. If you don't know what to do because you're new, please make that like button go blue. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on a mission to get to 1,000 subscribers. So with your help, get the word out for infant investors. This channel is focused on helping new and non-investors make sense of the market. So I do that in a number of ways. Um, I'm glad to see people enjoying the content, uh, leaving comments, leaving messages. Um, it's really, really appreciated. So um, if you could do me a massive favor and share the videos, um, let people know. Um, and obviously, if you're new to the channel and you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about claiming your dividends. Make sure you consistently check your dividend dates. Um, and when your next ex-dividend date is coming up and when your next dividend payments are coming up. As you can see from this spreadsheet, and I've always left my spreadsheets in the link of the description at any time I've spoken about it, so I will do the same. I've got one that I've made for you guys specifically. Um, what I do, I track when my next ex-dividend date is um, and obviously when my next payment date is. Now this spreadsheet looks a little bit messed up with you know, dates kind of not in chronological order and there's a very, very simple reason for this. It was all red up until legal in general um, and sorry, Aviva and legal in general and the reason being is that I still haven't received my last dividend for legal or general and Aviva, not because it's delayed or anything but simply because the date is on the 30th of May for me to be paid and the 6th of June. However, I decided to just go back and check when the next dividend payments are to be expected. Um, and the next ex-dividend dates that are coming up for me, I've sort of listed here. Um, and I've pulled out three specifically because they're really, really close. In fact, one of them closes pretty much today. So if you don't know already, uh, let me just backtrack. Let me just backtrack well. X dividend date is the date you need to have all your shares by to be counted for the next dividend payment. So that's the first thing to know. One thing I need to make clear to you is that you need to have all your shares in on the day before the X dividend date. So the close of the date before, so effectively the X X dividend date. So in the case of Imperial Brands, however many shares I have by the 22nd of May close, that means by the open of the 23rd of May, those shares will be counted for my next dividend payment. And if I sell um, from the 23rd of May onwards, it wouldn't matter. I would still get the next dividend payment. Obviously, I wouldn't get the, the one that then subsequently follows because I wouldn't have any shares by that X dividend payment. So you have to look at it on a case by case basis. Um, so the next X dividend pay dates that are coming up for me um, are Imperial Brands, which um, pretty much is closed today now. So um, I'm not too fast. I checked how much I would get and it's about eight quid. So I'm not really that bothered. I'll just leave what I've got in there and I'm not really going to contribute to it. Um, Vodafone is on the 6th of June. I checked as well. It wasn't huge um, because Vodafone cut their, they cut their dividend payment by 40%. Um, which obviously sunk their share price, um, but this is because they're preparing for 5G. So I will buy more Vodafone shares, but not really to gain a dividend. It's more to have as many shares as possible by the time that 5G launches, as I believe when the new phones, the new tariffs, the new contracts come out, um, I do believe the revenues um, and hopefully the earnings will be um, favourable and um, I'm expecting to obviously make a bigger growth return from that standpoint. So I'm not too fussed with Vodafone. However, I saw and I noticed Taylor Wimpy. So Taylor Wimpy is a house building company, as you know, um, and Taylor Wimpy um, is the only sort of anomaly here because they're paying a special dividend. Now, um, the Taylor Wimpy special dividend, ex-dividend date is on the 6th of June, so I need to have all of my shares in by the 5th of June. So I went to check how much will they be paying? And here I go back to Simply Wall Street, as you guys know, and um, that's where I sort of get a lot of my information on, on stocks and how they're performing and the fundamentals. Um, and when you scroll down to the dividend, they're currently paying an annual dividend of 10.41%. Now, at the previous time Taylor Wimpy was paying a dividend, um, I think about two months ago, the one that I just received like a few days ago, um, that was about 7%. So that was still considered very, very high. But according to the special dividend, it's going to be 10.41%. So I thought, okay, let me validate this right now. So I've currently got 500 shares of Taylor Wimpy. The share price at the moment is £1.76. Um, and I've currently got 500 shares. So I always do this, the Taylor Wimpy's the ticker. 
um, and as you can see I'll just go Taylor Wimpy Dividend um, and then the link that I'm looking for is dividendmax.com um, and then when I click on Taylor Wimpy it's got a nice calculator to tell me how many shares and what would your div dividend payment be so I put 500 shares um, and my next dividend payment expected on the 12th of July um, so a month after the ex dividend date of the 6th of June will be £53.50 um, and I think that's a really really good dividend payment now naturally I was going to invest in Taylor Wimpy at the end of this month just through my normal round of investing um, but I've decided because they're paying a 10% dividend yield um, and because the performance of um, my stocks have considerably dropped due to the China-US uh, trade saga um, I'm actually going to add quite a bit more so I wouldn't normally do this just because um, you know the stock might be underperforming um, and it might not be as valuable but when I looked at the fundamentals for Taylor Wimpy it still seems relatively undervalued at a discount of 28% which is really really good so the expectation is that within the next one to three years it will still get to a £2.44 um, share price so that still seems good um, PEG ratio isn't the greatest but I guess when you're dealing with an organization that has lots lots of assets the price to book ratio um, is a little bit more favorable and that's what you should really probably look at as a bit of a bet better indicator but price to earnings um, has been good it's just saying that their growth rate in this context isn't going to be as good so price to earnings is good price to book is good um, although it says it's a bit overvalued based off the market but um, it's probably good in its own right um, but price to earn is a little bit higher but price to earn is growth a little bit higher but probably not the best thing to look at as you can see the growth performance for next year is 3.7 percent so not the highest but um, the good news is that um, Taylor Wimpy you know doesn't have any debt or is very 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 low um, the debt in relation um, to its net worth which is which is a great um, sign obviously it's holding quite a bit of cash and that cash seems to be on the rise um, inventory obviously because you know they build houses so they're gonna have a lot of assets and I remember reading that you know a lot of the orders are great um, and they're paying a 10.41 uh, percent dividend now obviously um, it gives you information on the ex dividend date here so it's 14 days so if you buy Taylor Wimpy shares anytime from now um, up until the 5th of June um, then you will receive a 10% return on the 12th of July so um, just wanted to put that message out there I'm not sort of advising you to invest in Taylor Wimpy but what I would advise you to do is to look at your current portfolio look at any shares that you might hold or any other shares you might consider holding check what the annual um, dividend yield is at the current time and um, check if they're paying a special dividend within the next uh, month or so whether it's going ex dividend in the next month um, and obviously you can kind of benefit from a little bit of a of a of a good percentage uh, from that standpoint so what I'm probably going to try and do is double my shares in Taylor Wimpy um, and I'm probably going to try and get to about a thousand shares so um, that would give me a nice hundred pounds dividend payment on the 12th of July which um, I'll be very very delighted with the current share price I think was what one pound seventy one um, and so I think it was one pound seventy one right I'm asking you lot like you guys can reply to me numpty anyway uh, £1.71 times 500 so oh, 855 pound no, I don't know if I'm gonna do that actually to be honest <laughs> I'm not too sure about that one but listen all I know is I'm gonna add some more money how much we will see I'll see what the what the, what the piggy bank is looking like at the end of the month and then obviously um, I'll make my decision from there but guys check out your dividends um, check out your stocks who's paying a special dividend, the ex-dividend dates are coming up in the next couple of weeks so um, please check that out and make sure that you know if you can buy some more for shares that are paying a good special dividend and um, usually if companies have excess cash they'll do that in a special dividend so they're doing it to reward you guys so um, you might as well take advantage of that even if it's not a stock you currently hold um, look across the stock market anyone paying um, I would say a high dividend yield um, when you see this so just something to note when you see this word this is the word you need this is the word declared if it says forecast it means that actually the date could change and also the amount can change but once it's declared that means it's guaranteed they will pay you this amount 
based off the shares that you're holding um, on that specific date. So if you see declared on any st other stocks, um, then obviously do it. So as I mentioned, it's a special dividend. On the 6th of June, it's going ex-div, um, and the payment will be on the 12th of just July. So check that out, um, and hopefully you can make a nice little return, which will pay you back for all of the heartache um, that Trump and China have caused us over the past couple of weeks. Get in the comments. Please like, please subscribe, please share the video, um, and I will catch you next time with another investment video. Happy investing. Take care, guys.